despite the politicians in Madrid trying to take an axe every generation to the human relationships that exist across that frontier, they will never achieve it because common humanity is able to bridge even four, five, six and seven hour queues and the hatred that some people in the Spanish government seem intent on sowing between the people of Gibraltar and the people of Spain. What concessions are you willing to make to resolve this? None whatsoever, because we've done nothing that requires us to concede anything. All we have done, and will continue to do, is to act actively manage the marine environment around British Gibraltar, in British Gibraltar territorial waters. If we were to concede any of that, then as Spain knows, and this is what she's pushing for, she would start to be involved in that management of the marine environment, something which is, of course, intolerable to every Gibraltarian. What about the issue of smuggling? It clearly is a problem. A lot of tobacco gets taken out of Gibraltar into Spain. Your taxes are, are low in that respect. Would you be willing to raise taxes on tobacco as a, as a compromise towards the Spanish government? I've raised the tax on tobacco already in the time that I've been elected quite considerably. I've raised, I think, over 30 or 40p in the time that I've been elected, which demonstrates that we take an attitude of tobacco unrelated to what the cost We're of tobacco may more. be in Spain, unrelated to what the cost of tobacco may be in Spain because of our agenda. My government has introduced a smoking ban in Gibraltar less than a year ago, so we're in the process of trying to make tobacco less attractive. But what we're not going to do is allow Spain to decide what the price of eggs is in Gibraltar, let alone the price of tobacco. Surely you do need to do something. You need to offer some form of olive branch to the Spanish government, but you're not willing to move no, on no, taxes, no, no, not willing to no, move no, no. on fishing This rights. is a manufactured dispute. And it is a dispute manufactured by Spain for two purposes. First of all, to take the corruption allegations against their prime minister and their party away from the front pages. And second, to force Gibraltar to in some way concede something when there was no dispute to speak of a few weeks ago. And so the idea put forward by the Spanish government that for this to be resolved, the concrete reef has to be removed. Look, I'm, I'm a fairly straightforward guy. I said it once and I'll say it as many times as I have to, hell will freeze over before the government of Gibraltar moves any of those blocks.